Welcome back everyone, Exodia Kami here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to build your own chicken farm. The stone and wood is only to show myself where I'm going to build the walls and it's very helpful and you can do this yourself if you want. Now make sure to build animal gates and do the command slash allow to allow your tribe members to have access to feeding your chickens or picking up feathers. This is a great source of feathers to supply your towers and bow users with arrows. The next important step is to have water inside the coop so I can channel the water around the coop. I'll show you what I mean. And at the end, you want to keep the water shallow, not deep. When you build on top of grass, there's always that weird look at the bottom. So what you can do to take that away is with a hoe, just start tilling each wall, face it and till. And my friend Ruby here is demonstrating it for you. This is what the end product should look like after you've built it. Now all that's left is getting a chicken inside or you can have a fertilized egg and just place it on the grass and soon enough it should hatch. Okay, it's time to show you how you can get feathers and fertile eggs uh, from the chicken to grow your farm and to increase your resources. It's very important that you hold on to something that does not attack the chicken. For example, a shovel, a hoe, uh, shears. You can hold a healing bandage. That would be ideal for handling the chickens. In this case, I'm using knitting needles, which is okay, but you know, healing bands are better. Okay, second thing you should do is check the chicken's hunger bar. I'm going to show you a chart up ahead that shows you what happens if the chicken's hunger is at this hun this hunger level or you know you'll see there's a point where it makes fertilized eggs or it just lays eggs or if its hunger is low enough it molts so it starts dropping feathers if that's what you want i want to grow the chicken farm and in that case i need to have it at 80 percent hunger bar each worm fills the chicken's hunger by 15 to 25 percent. Make sure to drop the worms by one and not by a stack of 10 or a thousand because they can eat a thousand stack. Okay, so we just checked the chicken's hunger. It's on breeding mode, which means there's a chance that it could drop a fertilized egg. One way to tell if the chicken has dropped a fertilized egg, when you check the hunger, it should be around 45 or 49 percent. Another way to check if the egg is fertilized is 
they don't stack like eggs do. Also, if you lens them, it should say fertilized in the description. And that is the process to grow your chicken farm. Only heads up because the process can take a very long time to fill the chickens and everything. But once you have those spots filled in to get uh, feathers, all you have to do is let the chickens hunger drop down to around the 10% to 19% and they should be dropping feathers like nothing. If you made it this far, consider subscribing as I make tutorial videos. I'll be coming out with uh, how to breed sheeps and cows because the process is very different from chickens.